about 1918, there is a man who retired from the USGS as a geographer, chief geographer of the USGS, Bradford Marshall, who on his own produces a plan to harbor the waters of the state in a series of dams from the Cascades all the way down to Tehachapi's, with canals moving the water from one basin to another. By 1933, the state of California committed to creating a huge new water management infrastructure to manage and distribute flows. But with the Great Depression underway, only the federal government could build so grand a scheme. In 1937, the Bureau of Reclamation, builder of Boulder Dam on the Colorado River and Grand Coulee Dam on the Columbia, began construction of the Central Valley Project. This was going to spur the economic engine of California. And in principle, it made sense, because wherever water came, you, you, you fueled economies. To improve drainage in the mind of those engineers, farmers, and everybody else, basically, was to move the water more efficiently from one place to another, store it where you could move it downstream when you wanted to, and not waste any of it by allowing it to go to some other purpose besides household, agriculture, or industry. So water going out the Golden Gate was wasted water. Four years after the beginning of construction, California's mighty Shasta Dam is ready to generate its first power. Shasta is the second... Initially, the Central Valley Project would rely on two great dams, 600-foot high Shasta Dam on the Sacramento River, and hundreds of miles south, Fryan Dam on the San Joaquin. In between on the delta would be a huge pumping station moving fresh water from the wet northern end of the valley to its arid south. By 1945, the system was up and running. This is the self-sustaining Central Valley Project, built for the people of the valley by the Bureau of Reclamation of the United States Department of the Interior. The Central Valley Project stood as one of the world's greatest engineering achievements. The Sacramento and San Joaquin Valleys bloomed in an abundance of new water. In our orchards here, we have uh, both overhead and trickle irrigation. The overhead has uh, multiple uses. We uh, use it for primary irrigation. Secondary things are frost control and uh, summer heat suppression. By the 50s, the state of California, flush in post-war prosperity and hungry for more, would build its own companion project, the State Water Project. Today, some 23 million people rely on fresh water taken from the Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta for drinking water, the same water that serves as the underpinning of the state's immense agricultural output. The bay, its delta, its watershed, now irrevocably changed. That large plumbing system greatly alters the flow of water upstream of the delta, into the delta, through the delta, and into San Francisco Bay. So in that sense, you can say that the bay is downstream of a very large plumbing system that was not designed to move water into the bay. 